right, today I'm going to show you the simplest way to make a pretty efficient bottle rocket. So the first thing that you want to do is pick the right bottles. So most Pepsi, Pepsi products come with just a normal bottle that's straight down and it's really easy to use these ones. A lot of the Coke bottles or Coke product bottles have these have weird shapes and they don't work as well. So, and I'll show you why in a minute. But the first thing you're gonna do is designate one bottle as the base. And it will be on the bottom of the rocket. So this will come off. There's a little bit of water in there because I cleaned it out. Um, this will take off the lid and this will slide down onto the bottle rocket launcher and then this will be kind of the base and that's where the water will come out and it will spray up in the air. The important thing is to never cut a hole in this bottle. This bottle has to stay intact so that it can so that it can actually have pressure to launch up. The easiest way to make a cone for the rocket is to use another bottle. So what I do is I just take a razor blade and I cut the top off another bottle. Really, I should have given myself more room down so it could slide farther on, but this will work. Actually, it may not. Let me see. Um, so the next step is once you have cut the top off the other bottle, which I would give it probably another two inches down because what we're going to do next is put a tennis ball in the top and then put the cone on top of it. And the reason you do that is because when it has a little bit of weight in the nose, it helps it stay more stable in the air and gives it better momentum. Um, dang, I'm totally ruined to this. So let's try the Sprite bottle, although I, I don't know how it's gonna work. Let me cut the top off this one. Oh, okay, that'll work okay. So the Sprite bottle will work okay for your nose. It will not work okay for the base because you need the straight sides so that when you slide the lid on, then you have an easy, even surface to tape to. Um, but basically what you do is just stick the cut off bottle on the top of the other one over the tennis ball, push it down. I think I'm gonna trim a little bit off so that it fits a little bit better. So what you don't want is if you push it too hard, it will make the, the base bottle crease in a little bit like that. So you just wanna make it so that it fits well enough that it doesn't make the base crease like that. you want to make it push it down tight enough that the tennis ball doesn't have room to move. Oh, that creased it. More trimming. Sorry it's taking me so long. Okay, there we go, perfect. So it's fitting right on the top, enough that I can tape it, and enough that the tennis ball is pushed down tight. And then it's, you just take some tape, and you can either use duct tape or use, uh, clear packing tape, and tape around the top. My 
like that. And you, you really probably want to do a decent amount of tape because when it launches up and then comes down and snatches, then it puts a lot of pressure on that. So um, probably do some around and then maybe a few strips coming down and then maybe another one around just to hold it all together pretty well. But this is this is the main design and that's um, that's pretty much the most efficient way to make a bottle rocket quickly, easily, and make it go high. Um, here's one that's finished that I've used and, and it's worked pretty well. The only other thing that I added on this is fins, which I do recommend because it does help it stay stable in the air. These are just cardboard cutouts. The important thing though is make sure you tape over, if you use cardboard, tape over all of the cardboard because they will get wet and then the cardboard will get ruined um, if they get wet. So just tape over all the cardboard so none of it's exposed and then put, put some tape over, kind of just cover everything in tape up on the nose. And, uh, but try not to use too much because too much weight will just make it go lower. Um, anyway, so here's a finished rocket. Once again, just make sure you don't cut your base bottle because that one has to have pressure in it and then cut the nose off of a second bottle, whether it's a normal bottle like this or one of the Coke product bottles, um, should be okay as long as your base bottle is just a normal straight side bottle. And then tennis ball on the top, lid on the top and tape it all up. That's pretty much it.